The government of Grenada has concluded a comprehensive agreement to restructure its 98.8 million EC dollar indebtedness to the Export-Import Bank of Taiwan. This landmark agreement, which reduces the principal outstanding on the loan by 50 percent, resolves Grenada's dispute with the bank and puts an end to the bank's legal proceedings in the New York courts. Under the terms of the agreement, the reduced balance on the loan will be repayable over 15 years, including a grace period of three and a half years at an interest rate of 7%. The agreement also includes a hurricane clause which will allow Grenada to defer payment for a predetermined period should a natural disaster compromise the government's ability to service debt in a timely manner in the future. The dispute with Taiwan arose over outstanding and unpaid loans made to the previous Mitchell administration by the Taiwanese bank, which filed a lawsuit in the United States and obtained a default judgment against the government of Grenada. Grenada's then Prime Minister Tillman Thomas said in, a 2000, in 2012 that the dispute between Grenada and Taiwan should never have reached the courts. Well, French police have stormed two hostage sites in Paris and north of the city, with the hostage takers reported dead. Explosions were heard at a warehouse where two suspects in the Charlie Hebdo magazine shootings had been holding one hostage. Explosions and gunfire could also be heard at the supermarket in eastern Paris where several hostages were held. Reports suggest a gunman there was linked to the Charlie Hebdo suspects. After the operation started, several hostages could be seen leaving the supermarket. The hostage at the warehouse has also been freed while a police officer at the scene was injured. Twelve people were shot dead and 11 were injured in Wednesday's attack on the office of Charlie Hebdo, a satirical magazine. The unprecedented attack shocked France and there has been an outpouring of sympathy and solidarity worldwide.